So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Boxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions and what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So former WBO Cruiserweight Champion in Boxing, Pundit slash Analyst for Sky Sports, Johnny Nelson, has came out in the past day or so and made a claim that he knows for a fact that John A. Wilder was knocked out in sparring twice by Vladimir Klitschko after John A. Wilder went over to spar Vladimir Klitschko. He says that Klitschko has knocked the WBC heavyweight champion out twice and he's also dropped him with a body shot before in sparring and stuff. To quote Johnny Nelson here, he says, Let me tell you this. Wilder has sparred with Vladimir Klitschko on various occasions. Vladimir Klitschko knocked him out cold twice and put him down a third time with a body shot. This is the worst kept secret going. Wilder sees what Anthony Joshua did to Klitschko and he thinks, wow. These sparring rumours are always floating around in boxing. Even if they're true or not true, at the end of the day, it's not really a big deal. Fighters get put down in sparring all the time. Fighters get hurt in sparring like... A lot of things go on in sparring sessions that we don't even know about and some things we do know about and some things are just huge rumours like you've heard the stories over the years, we've heard that Anthony Joshua has been knocked out before by David Price in sparring and that Anthony Joshua has been down a lot in sparring sessions, he was knocked out apparently by up and coming cruiserweight Olympian Lawrence of Colair. There's been a sparring rumour before from Abel Sanchez, Gennady Golovkin's trainer, that Gennady Golovkin has knocked out Sergei Kovalev in sparring. And there's just been many rumours over the past couple of years on sparring news and who's knocked out who in sparring. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really make a big deal to when an actual fight happens. Like... A lot of people might think now that this is probably why John A. Wilder has been reluctant to fight Vladimir Klitschko and that's why Anthony Joshua has stepped up to the task because I think if John A. Wilder wanted to he probably could have got the Vladimir Klitschko fight if he was really calling for it but John A. Wilder has never really called for the Vladimir Klitschko fight. Vladimir Klitschko right now even though he lost to Anthony Joshua on April 29th by 11th round knockout he is number two with the WBC. So he is in a good position to possibly face John A. Wilder if that fight ever gets made or something like that. But yeah, this is very interesting claims by Johnny Nelson. And obviously you hear in the past that fighters can get affected by being dropped by people in sparring. And then when they actually come to fight them in an actual fight, the psychological demons come back and they end up getting knocked out by that person. So a lot of people are going to think this is why John A. Wilder has been reluctant to face Vladimir Klitschko, like I just said. So anyway, I'm not reading too much into this. Like, you can think it's a big deal if you want to. Just comment below in the comment section what you think of this. It's JM, it's Speedboxing.